This video is on syslog or syslogs, syslog ng. Syslog is a protocol that computer systems use to send event data logs to a central location for storage. Logs can then be accessed by analysis and reporting software to perform audits, monitoring, troubleshooting, and other essential IT operational tasks. This is usually built into SIM, Security Information and Event Manager tool, which is a centralized log server that collects logs from all devices and consolidates them. In the beginning, syslog only supported UDP for transport and didn't guarantee delivery of the messages. It also didn't have any authoritative published specification, and many implementations existed, some of which were incompatible. Then came syslog ng, which extended basic syslog protocol with new features like content-based filtering, logging directly into database, TCP for transport, TLS encryption. It extended the original syslog model with new features. Then came our syslog. It extended it even further. It added RELP protocol support, reliable event logging, as well as buffered operation support. Reliable event logging protocol is a networking protocol for computer data logging in computer networks. It extends the functionality of syslog protocol to provide reliable delivery of event messages. It is often used in environments which do not tolerate message loss like the financial industry. These are all open source software used on Unix and Unix-like computer systems for forwarding log messages in an IP network. Once again, syslogd was the first one and was created to handle syslog protocol. It is still default on OpenBSD. Syslogng was created to replace syslogd. It added support for TCP, encryption, and many other new features. And all these has recently been replaced by our syslog. If you have a common and updated Linux distribution, you're likely using our syslog. While their configuration syntax is different, they are all more or less the same thing.